What do you do? What's up guys? TKF here. Um, sorry about my computer background there. It's kind of inappropriate, but um, kind of funny. But anyway, I'm going to kind of do a response to the last video I did about the audio. And I'm going to show you guys how you can get some nice video quality. Um, so you will need Sony Vegas uh, here to do what I'm going to do today. And uh, Camtasia is an option. This is just what I use. Um, but let's just say you have the video file already. So let's see if I actually have a video file knocking about in my recycle bin. Uh, I do, luckily, we have a Dragon Ball Z video. Unfortunately, it's not really going to be able to show me much of what you know I want to show you guys. But anyway, uh, once you have your video, basically, you want to create the video file. Say, I use uh, Camtasia, as you can see I'm doing now. And uh, I record directly into AVI because I didn't record the system straight off, uh, the sound straight off of my system. Unless I'm doing a Pokemon walkthrough, in which case I'll record in Camrec and then I've got to go through uh, Camtasia Studio. But, so let's just say you've got your video file and, um, you know, you want to make it, well, oh, I say make it HD. If it wasn't captured in HD, you can't make it HD. You can make it say it's HD, but believe me, it's not. Um, I capture my videos through a Avamedia HD DVR, which is pretty much exactly the same as a HD PVR, except it has the HDMI support. Um, so my videos are captured in um, 720p from my 720p HD TV, and uh, that produces these neat little nifty uh, 720p HD files. As you can see, here's the Dragon Ball Z episode I uploaded the other day against Team Go. Uh, sorry, using Team Gohan. So what we're going to do is open Vegas, and now uh, this is what it's going to look like. So first of all, let's just go through our settings and make sure that we have the right settings. So first off, we're going to go to properties. And uh, here, now this depends on your system. I go 32 bit floating point because my computer is really, really good and it renders really, really fast. If it's not so good, uh, you want to choose 8 bit here and um, you want to change this to 1 and have this on best always and that on Gaussian always. So if you have a slightly better computer, use these settings. If not, use the settings I just said. And uh, what you want to do is go down here, start all new projects with these settings. You want to tick that. And uh, that's pretty much all those done. Make sure this is 1280 by 720 for HD. Uh, audio doesn't really make a difference. Now, this is debatable, but it's supposed to be on uh, 41. But, you know, 44 is absolutely fine. Um, you don't really need to mess around with the audio settings much. So, uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, next, you just want to go to Options and come down to Preferences. And go ahead and check your video. And it should look something like this. If it doesn't look like this, uh, change it to look like this. Um, you guys can feel free to uh, pause the video here, but I'm just going to leave it at that. So, when we want to bring stuff into Vegas, we don't drag and drop because that creates all sorts of problems. You want to go File, Import, Media, and then uh, you take your pick. Obviously, I'm going to be bringing in this video, but if I was going to do it like I normally would, I'd go into my GFX folder, look for my intro, which is going to be here. I click Open, and uh, here's my intro right here. And once that's done, I'm just going to drag it down onto the timeline like so. So you can see, here's my intro. That makes a cool sound. Anyway, um, a good thing to do, to get used to doing when you bring a video into Vegas, is you want to go to the video, right click it, go down to properties, and uh, you get this little box here. Now you want to click disable resample, and maintain aspect ratio, oh, excuse me, maintain aspect ratio. And uh, that's just going to help the video. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you that in a sec. So, now we're going to bring in our media. So I'm going to go file, media, uh, import, media. I'm going to go to, uh, where the hell am I going? I don't even know. I just lost it. Desktop, that's right. going to bring in a Dragon Ball Z video. Um, now, this works kind of the same for Pokemon, except with Pokemon, it's a little bit more complicated because you actually need to set up um, your video codec specifically to work with uh, Desume, which can be a bit of a nightmare, and if I have time, I will show you guys how to do that this video. Um, so anyway, we're going to bring in our media here, and you see I'm just waiting for it to load up here at the bottom. Um, it's HD, so it will take a while. So now we're going to bring it in, and we're going to drop it on a new timeline here at the bottom. Okay, now you'll see that's gone very, very small. No worries. If you have a wheelie mouse, all you have to do is um, just you know click anywhere, and then just use the wheelie mouse to zoom in all right. Now that's actually quite invaluable, so make sure you guys keep uh, track of that. Take note. So anyway, here we have our video. Now here, as you can hear... I still have the audio file attached to the video. Now let's say I didn't want that. What a lot of you guys will find is that if you try and move the audio, the video will move as well, and that's not good. So if you want to get rid of the audio or move it, if it's out of sync for any reason, you just want to right click on the audio, 
go to group and go remove from and now that will let you freely move the audio or the video wherever and as you can see here when I'm merging these videos you get this blue line that just means that they're all lined up perfectly so that's what you want to go ahead and do so remember as we bought in this video now what we're gonna do is right click it go to properties and we're gonna go to maintain aspect ratio and disable resample okay now you'll notice I'm using a HD PVR here so I've got a tiny little black line down the right side of this video here now this happens with all PVRs easy to correct all you want to do is right click go to video event pan and crop and you'll see this little arrow down here you just want to drag that in a tiny tiny bit until it disappears and there we go so that's that done so now uh, pretty much so let's say you're all good to go obviously you want to balance levels and whatnot Ooh, I should probably narrate it uh, let's see if I still have the narration knocking around um, I might do so let's have a look oh that's a nice car uh, got my narration? No. Alright, never mind. What do you do? So, pretty much then, see, this is my narration here. Um, once you've got that all done, you want to add effects, right? So you just uh, find a bit on your video that's going to look nice when you put effects on it. Something to gauge. Like, for example, the best place here would be when uh, Gohan's about to transform because it will get lighter and I'll know how much color correction. But you want to right click the video, go to video event effects and uh, the world is your oyster. I only use uh, color corrector these days. I used to use sharpen and everything else but color corrector does it just fine. So you want to go on color corrector, click add here and click OK and this will bring up this little box here and um, the only thing you want to do to this is uh, where it says preset right here click on this little drop down arrow and go down to studio RGB to computer RGB the one below computer RGB. So third one down, reset none, computer, studio. You want to click on studio and you notice that my video brightens up and uh, that is all you need seriously that's all you need on your video and it's absolutely fine so you've got all that done now it's pretty much time to render so what you want to do is you'll notice this little or uh, yellow arrow so what you want to do then is uh, I want to zoom out so I get it all here now you just want to go to this timeline here uh, the, uh, not timeline sorry right at the top here and when you click you'll notice that the video changes and this line follows you just double click and you'll see that it highlights everything. Just to check, we're going to scroll in here and you can see that it has begun at the start of the intro and uh, it will have got the end of the video as well, which it has. So that's all good. So now we're ready to render. So we want to go File, Render As, and uh, here's some more settings for you guys. So here I have a Call of Duty template, which I made. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you choose. Uh, I would advise you to use the... Um, the... here equals 6 megabytes per second HD 720p 30 frames per second video click on that and then you're gonna go to custom uh, I can actually do this with you guys so let's go down to here and then we're gonna go custom and uh, it'll bring up these settings here now these are absolutely fine now you want to uh, you want to make sure this is ticked to include audio and then come down to the bottom here and click on video once this is clicked you'll see CBR now uh, this is uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10 by the way guys, it will slightly differ but this is pretty much what you want to set it up as. Format, Windows Media Video 9, very important unless you have 11 or whatever else. Image size, definitely high def, 1280 by 720 um, Pixel aspect ratio 1, square. Uh, frame rate, now, this is where it gets interesting. I'm English and I live in England, in Bristol, so I should be using PAL because PAL is at 25 frames per second which is generally what our TVs run at. However, I run off 29.970 NTSC, which is typically America and everywhere else. Now, the reason why I do that is there is no reason. I just like doing it. Um, sometimes it works out better. I find that if I use PAL, I actually get interlacing on my videos, which is absolutely terrible. So, it just try and stick to this if you can. Now, my PVR actually records in 60 frames per second. But the thing is, you only want to render out in what you record in. So, if I render out in 60 frames per second, it's not going to make a difference to my recording. However, if I recorded in 60 frames per second, then I would need to come in here and change this up to double NTSC 59.94. So the only, you know, there aren't many games that play 60 frames per second. Most generally tend to be at 30 or 25, so that's absolutely fine. So once that's done, you can go ahead, uh, move this up to 90 or up to 100. It's completely up to you. Uh, just make sure that everything there looks the same. And then all you want to do is go up here to the template and just uh, retype whatever you want and then click this floppy disk here to save your template. I've obviously already got my Call of Duty template set up nice here for me with the settings I just showed you. So now you want to make sure this is Windows Media Video 11 
Uh, you can use uh, here main concept AVC slash AAC, which is an MP4 file. Now that will make your videos brighter and it will take approximately half the time to render. So use that, but for me, uh, quality matters, so I'm going to be using the Windows Media Video 11. And uh, obviously, once you're here, you just want to type in um, Shizzle My Nizzle, because that is exactly what I want this video to be called. And then you just click uh, wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop here, and then just click Save. And that will be your video, and it will start to render out, and then you'll all be good to go. And that's it. So, not that we need that anymore. Bitch, please. <laughs> Uh, now I want to show you guys the Pokemon thing quickly. Now this is something uh, quite interesting. So you want to go to uh, Desume, which is lying around here. I'm blind, and uh, mine opens up sideways because I'm a boss. But anyway, uh, what I want to show you guys if, is if I go to I'm gonna have to open up a ROM. Uh, Pokes, ROMs, black. There we go. And uh, once you get here. You're basically going to wait for it to open, which should be some time soon, preferably. There we go. And uh, now, if I go record AVI, this is the way to record the top screen. You'll see, uh, la 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 la. Uh, let's just call it Blad Test. Why not? Make sure I save that to my desktop so I can delete it later. Now, here it says full frames uncompressed. What I want to do is go down to FFD Show. If you don't have that, type in FFD Show Pokemon and there will be a guide to it. I promise you. Look at Beast Frames Guide. Uh, to, it's called like Beast Frame How I Record. But I just want to show you guys this. If you want to go to Configure, it brings this up. Now this is how you record in top screen only. And it's very important. So you have MPEG 4 at the top here. Uh, XVID here. Enable Image Processing. And all that good stuff. And... Um, so you go to input here, that's all of that set. And you want to put this preferably on 10,000, 15,000. It really doesn't make a difference. I'm not sure why mine's on 10,000, actually. It really shouldn't be that high. I don't know. But that's fine. But you want to look at this, because this is absolutely everything. So I highly suggest you go and learn how this works. And learn about all this stuff. Because if you don't know, then you know it can be quite confusing. And it's actually quite important to learn. So I really recommend you guys go and check this out. So, uh, yeah, anyway, click configure here, and this will bring up this box. And uh, you want to go to uh, resize and aspect. Make sure resize is clicked, and make sure all this is clicked, whatever, and just leave the rest of it alone. Go to settings here, and uh, you want to make sure this is HQ2X. That's insanely important. So, once that's done, um, that's pretty much all you're going to need, I think. But, like I, check, like I said, go and check out Beast Frames tutorial, it's much better than mine. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much how I record my videos. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, rating, or whatever else. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to go check out my channel. That would be really cool. And um, hopefully I hear from you guys soon. Deuces.